Welcome to Fan Free. In this movie, we're going to talk about removing wax in acrylic polymer. Basically, we have different uh, chemicals for each. And uh, we put them into the sand bony, and the sand bony is applying these chemicals to the floor. And eventually, you will see some whiteness on the floor, which is the acrylic polymer and the wax being dissolved. Now, I can tell you, the first time that we did this, all of a sudden, everything started turning uh, white, and we had this raw floor, and we were panicked. Don't panic. It'll be okay. But you'll see in this video, now you're starting to get the white. And that's what we definitely want, because this is taking, this is getting the wax off the floor. What you won't see is... Uh, the fact that right now the mechanic is not extracting the chemical from the floor. He's putting it on, he's letting the pads abrade the floor and make sure that he's getting all of the uh, wax affected by uh, the solution. This is a different floor and the uh, disintegration of the wax is a little bit more progressed here. When we do acrylic polymers, uh, it isn't quite as white, but it still is coming off in a milky, uh, in a milky tone. And again, he is not extracting this off the floor yet. What we have to do is to be careful that we get all of the wax or all of the acrylic polymer off the floor. So you'll see the men will use our edging tool so that they can be sure that all of the wax and the acrylic polymer has been affected. And here in it, he is, as we said before in some other movies, uh, they have to do the edges by hand, which is why we have that tool. Now, this is a floor where we have removed the wax but we haven't done phase one yet, which we will do. Sometimes the guys will combine the wax removal with the phase one. And uh, so don't be panicked if it's only one phase. Then what we're going to do is to rinse the floor to get all of the uh, uh, solution off of the floor. And here we are rinsing it, and you can see, even just by applying water, the color is going to come back on the floor. Now, on this particular job, this was in northern New Jersey, uh, the customer got bids from 10 different people. We were the only people who could do what she wanted done, which was she did not want to change the color of the floor. She just wanted the wax removed. So not only were we significantly less than anybody else, but we were the only ones who could do that. And now he's putting phase three in the machine so that we can, we can complete the uh, preparation of the floor. And basically, in this case, we were down to raw wood, which is what you want. Once you get to raw wood, uh, the urethane can adhere easily. There isn't any need for the bonding coat because the profile offered by the raw wood is rough enough that the urethane can adhere to it. This was beautiful, made, uh, beautiful walnut. And you can expect this kind of refuse coming off the floor after each phase. It gets a little bit clearer uh, by the time you get through phase three, but that is coming off. Now you see, it's very simple. Uh, the Brunswick urethane it's self-leveling. All you do is move the puddle across the floor. And in all of the movies of San Free, that's exactly what you're going to see. The mechanic is just moving it across the floor, and you can see now the prepared floor comes up looking great with a coat of urethane on it. With San Free, 75% of the time is spent preparing the floor, actually putting the bonding coat on and putting the urethane on, takes very little time. So 
So you can see how the color changes once you put the urethane on. And this is the finished floor. Uh, it looked great. It was perfectly smooth. She had a satin finish, which is exactly what she wanted. And she had her wax off, and there was no change of the color, because that's how she wanted to do it. So if you've been using Globicon or any of the other ones, uh, uh, don't be concerned. We can get all of those uh, all of those uh, products off the floor.